and that will also be a link that goes nowhere. And let's call this sample group one. And then uh, I'm gonna, actually we'll just write a quick paragraph. I'll just say this is a sample double group. A sample double social network group. I should put in anything in there. And then we're gonna have uh, a link, um, yeah, a link that's formatted as a button. So it needs to have, uh, it needs to have a class, oops, a class of BTN and also BTN default. And that's gonna say join group. And I think that's it. Uh, I actually wanna wrap that in the paragraph as well. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so that looks good. And it's actually the same format as this module down here. That's why it already has the CSS because we already added it when we created that module. Okay, so we just wanna copy the group item. Ends right there. And actually, you know what? We need to do, let's put in a clear fix. Okay, and then we'll copy from there to there. And then I'm just gonna change the title. All right, so there we have our groups, easy. Now the last thing I wanna do is the profile page. I'm gonna save the photos for its own section just because we're gonna be using a modal and uh, things like that. So let's go ahead and do the profile real quick. It's very simple. So I'm gonna create another um, text document and you wanna call it profile.html. Okay, I'm gonna copy everything that's in the groups page and paste it in profile and then I'm gonna change the title. <laughs> I wrote the word title. Okay, I'm gonna change it to uh, profile. And then down here, same thing we've been doing, we're gonna clear out everything that's in this column. And we're gonna create a profile div. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, a couple, we're gonna have a row. If we look at the, do I have the finished one? I don't have it open. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, a split. We're gonna have a column here for the image and a column for the information here. All right, and we want the user's name up top. So let's, let's um, we'll have an H1 with the class of page header. And we're just gonna put the user's name. And then we need to create a row And this is gonna be, uh, what is this gonna be? It's gonna be four for the image and then eight for the, the fields. So this will be call MD 
8. So you can see it's getting a little repetitive now, but I mean that's just how it is when you have a, a static site. Um, so we're going to add the image and the source is going to be, uh, we're just using the user image again. And let's give it a class of image thumbnail. All right, and then in the, the eight column div, we want the fields, which is going to be a UL. So we'll have a name. And I'm gonna I'm gonna surround the, the titles or the labels in strong tags. Okay, so name. I'm just gonna copy this. All right, so after name, we'll have email. Okay, and then we'll have, let's put city. And state. gender and then let's do profession okay so for profession we'll just put web developer okay so that takes care of the fields and then the last thing on the profile, I want to have um, a place to post on the wall. So we should be able to copy that from the index page. Okay, so we want from this panel to this to this ending div. Okay, so I'm going to grab all that. And we want to paste that in right below the closing UL tag and we'll just make this say profile wall whoops that's not it okay so um, oh actually you know what I don't want it there I want it I want it in its own um, in its own row so I'm actually gonna just um, undo what I just did and I'm gonna paste that I want to paste that outside of this. Wait a minute. No, outside of this. Yeah, okay. So after this eight column div, we're going to create. Actually, we want to break out of the row. So if row ends right there, we'll create another row. And this is just going to have one 12 column div. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit of styling to do here. So let's go to the CSS file and we'll go above the footer. And we'll say profile UL. Okay, and I just want to add a margin top of 30 pixels. And then the profile LI. We don't want bullet points, so list style none. And I'm going to give it a line height of 1.9 M 
and I think that's it. Yeah. Actually, let's move this um, this wall form down a little bit. I'm actually just going to put in a uh, line break, which will go right here. Maybe even two. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that looks good. Very simple, but clean. So we have basically the whole template done except for the photos page, uh, which will be a little more work. Okay. And we will do that in the next video.